There's the technical definition that it's a binary format and a runtime to execute it on, but I think more and more lately people are asking why should I care about WebAssembly, and I think people think of WebAssembly as kind of an evolution of where we've landed in technology. You have uh, kind of the space with VMs isolating workloads, and then you brought in containers that furthered that, that continued that isolation, but led this microservice approach. And now we're here with WebAssembly, which is bringing out this serverless paradigm. So it's kind of evolving the way that we're doing computing today in the cloud. What if you could run the same code on multiple devices at near native speed with enhanced security, uh, with better container start times, and get all of these benefits for your application? Uh, well, that's how I look at WebAssembly. The easiest way to describe WebAssembly is as a compile target. You know, you think about compiling a language to the platform that you're running on. WebAssembly is a neutral compile target where you can run it on all different kinds of platforms. You can compile it once, run it on Windows, run it on Linux, run it on Mac OS, Intel, ARM, doesn't matter. And that's what we really like about it because that gives you a portability story right away. Similar to assembly code in the computer, uh, how it, it's a bytecode, you can also have uh, the bytecode in the browser, which makes things run super fast. WebAssembly is pretty beneficial for machine learning, faster than Docker containers, uh, uh, and has lesser container start time, runs more efficiently. Languages like Java and C Sharp, by default, uh, the binary, the thing that you're running inside of the runtime, is trusted. And so you can access the file system, you can access the network, you know, kind of no holds barred. And if for some reason you want to prevent a binary from doing that, you have to turn it off. So, you know, it's permissive by default. WebAssembly, on the other hand, is supposed to be secure by default. And so you have to grant something permissions to do something by default. It's not allowed to access files. It's not allowed to access environment variables. And that's why it's such a good fit for the browser. 